this place is... Okay, there's no easy way to say this, but it's a puppet graveyard. Humans call it an illegal dumping site. The city tried to stop it, but eventually had much bigger concerns. If the grand expression's horrific solution is far too... It's just too terrible to think about. Oh, why am I thinking about it?
Those damn alchemists. The terms of the bargain. Almost intolerable. Well, it's not like I care about those hotel people anyway. But there are limits. <clears throat> How do you do? It's quite odd that we should meet in a place like this. Oh, don't pretend surprised that I got here before you. After all, I can elude the darkest monsters, the loftiest beings. In fairness, I do benefit from your prowess as well. I shall tell you something since we're nearly peers. They say a terrible monster lives on the cliff at the end of the swamp. It behaves like a crow, gathering shiny things. I have absconded with treasures from its lair. Rare parts and weapons worthy of a hero. Now catch your interest? If you're hunting ergo monsters, you might put that friendly tip to use. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. What's this? A gift for a rescuer from a technician girl. Hmm, I don't remember. I've saved so many of the common people. Anyway, uh, thank her, I suppose. Oh. <coughs> oh dear. These gloves are a mess. They don't even fit. Is this a practical joke? <sighs> My god, I never did like that girl. She's just like him. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I thought you had better taste than this. How disappointing. Get these rags out of my sight.
works where they do exist. Are the puppets like me not bound by the Grand Covenant? I thought I was forever alone. Without the Covenant, my kind hates me. Monsters, humans, puppets, they all hate me. But I want to be friends with humans. If I learn how to feel, would that be possible? If you tell me how, I'll return the favor. I want to learn how to feel. Hello, my only friend. What have you come to tell me? I see now how scary losing someone can be. I may not be able to cry, but I hope I can comfort others now. Thank you. Hello, my only friend. What have you come to tell me? Clapping is... Uh, the mimicry of a joyful heart. It's good to feel alive. <laughs> Thanks.
quick. That came from the direction of Krat Central Station. Oh, this could be bad, pal. Really, really bad. Uh, hey, are you a treasure hunter too? Strange to me, someone in my line of work. I know how this looks, but I'm not a thief or anything. <laughs> I am on a serious expedition. You wouldn't happen to know a, a treasure hunter named Alidoro, would you? I'm a big fan. I plan my expeditions to follow Alidoro's traces, but ugh, this lock has me at a dead end, and I so wanted to explore the hermit's cave. Oh, all I can do is keep plugging away. If you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Life is short, and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish what time I've got. All I can do is keep plugging away. You never heard of Alidoro? He's a treasure hunter and one of the best. And unlike a lot of the riffraff in Krat, he's not a thief. He's a pro who excavates antiquities methodically. And professionalism is important when you're talking about Ergo. Just mention Ergo and everyone cares about the history behind the ruins. That's why Alidoro has the reputation he does. The quality of his information and the condition of the antiquities are on another level. I know there are rumors about Alidoro lately, but I know jealousy when I hear it. The rumors? Well, for starters, they're nonsense. Alidoro is the last person you'd suspect of crimes like fraud and theft and assault. It's crazy. I've even seen a wanted poster of him. Those alchemists must be behind it. Those guys act like they own the ruins, and they don't want treasure hunters to earn an honest living. I mean, come on. We're talking about the Alidoro who saved all those lives in the workshop tower rubble. So, no, I don't believe a word of it. Ugh, would you get a load of this? I grabbed it as a souvenir, but it's just malicious propaganda. You take it. Life is short, and life... All I can do is keep plugging away. My treasure? Well, this is what I've got so far. It's a cryptic vessel. A sort of cipher device? But I don't know how it works. I don't want to throw it away. I think it's a clue to some stolen goods. I found it between the corpses of two thieves who died fighting over it. You know what they say. No honor among thieves. But I can't make heads or tails of it. If you want it, it's yours.
Ah, this must be quite an urgent patient to seek out my humble abode. You are still breathing. Trust me, it's better this way. No vital signs. You must be dead. I'll dispose of you properly.
do it? Finally, the last hero weapon is in my hands. I knew you'd do it. I had a feeling you'd be the perfect bait. I got what I wanted thanks to you. The last hero weapon is finally in my hands. I knew where it was, but I didn't dare lay my hands on it. The swamp is too dangerous. Someday soon, you'll see. You have my thanks. And you've earned a nickname. Alidoro's best bait. See you at the hotel. I found the last treasure thanks to you. The Sabre. A precious artifact from overseas. It'll always remind me of the rascal who stole it. 
then fell into the nest. I, I tried to save him, but uh, I failed. Let the punishment fit the crime, I say. <laughs> and in a twist of fate, you must become the weapon's true owner. A great weapon calls for a great warrior. Show me that you're worthy to wield it. Hmm. What's this? A poster singing my praises? Oh dear, your practical jokes go too far. A, a wanted poster? <laughs> right, yeah. Let me, let me explain. There is an unscrupulous reporter called Medoro, and he's the epitome of yellow journalism, and he only writes favorable articles if you bribe him. One time, I didn't give him a certain antique he wanted, and he slandered me, just like this. What has this world come to? Even noble explorers searching for true history get lambasted for all to see. <sighs> Perhaps I should be pleased that this scrap of paper is powerless as there's no authority to pay the reward. You can keep it as a souvenir. Life is short, and life in Krat is shorter. All I can do is keep plugging away. Uh, you actually met Alidoro and asked him about the wanted poster. That's odd. Alidoro and Medoro are friends. When I was hurt, he took me to Medoro, who was one of the first on the scene. Oh, Medoro is quite the medic. He saved me when the workshop tower fell. There's got to be a logical explanation. The Alidoro I admire would never talk about a friend like that. But well, who knows, maybe that wanted poster is real. You keep an eye on him if you see him again. In times like these, when truth and lies are blurred, the only thing to believe is your gut instinct about a person. I trust Alidoro. He wants to save people and seek out the truth. Anyhow, you gave me the first lead on Alidoro I've had in months. Take this in return. Consider it a gift suitable for times like these. Are you hurt anywhere? Ha! You never fail to surprise me, Companio. Now, allow me to return the surprise. This little wonder creates a lead-acid battery in a flash. The Golden Ergo is the purest form of power we can use, and it's nearly perfect. We could power a city block with this. You see, the alchemists ordered transportation from me, powered by this. I'm not sure, but maybe it's still in their underground base. Just one problem with the base. I don't know exactly where it is. I don't know in exactly either. I had to just hand it over immediately after the launching ceremony. After all, I am the prince of the Krat social scene and I surrendered to their mysticism. There. It's done. Now take it. Hmm. A secret alchemist's underground lair. That sounds like something Antonia might well have heard of. You'd better ask her about it. I hear there is a new guest at the hotel. And that you had a little something to do with that. 
I just find saving people is its own reward. I certainly don't need the money. <laughs> Even strangers. Everyone deserves some help now and then. If we who live through times like this don't live the best lives we can, we dishonor the memories of all we have lost. Honoring the lost is why I do what I do. In a way, I envy the dead. They don't have to know what it's like to remember that they're gone. Ha! <laughs> and here I go again. Blah, 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 and who cares, huh? <laughs> Now, let's get out there and save my... that is, our city. There you are. Now, just leave this to me. Done and done. You will find Venini always seeks to rise to the challenge at hand. Did you find this place? They sent you, didn't they? Those guys blabber about loyalty, but when the chips are down, they'll stab each other in the back. I don't know what's inside, and I don't really care. Take it with you and hurry. House of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Master Vanini's collection box. You are indeed full of surprises, sir. Patrons of prestige can always count on seeing a bit more than the average customer. I am talking about you, sir. Shall we pay a visit to the House of Vanini's private reserve? House of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Quest last time. Did you give Ali Doro the gloves? Phew. Even the Union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right, I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Ali Doro happy? Really? What a relief! I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. 
glove seemed a logical gift because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the Hound's sacrifice back then. I, uh, I don't want to think about it, and yet I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying, but I'm gonna start now. Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with my thanks. By the way, do you remember when I mentioned my partner? I got a distress signal from him. His last location was Krat Central Station, but my gear won't protect me from the petrification disease there. Can you find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. Thanks. My partner's name is Atkinson. I think he was trying to secure an escape route. Look for him around Krat Central Station. I heard what happened at the exhibition. How frightful. It's no wonder you're trying to track down the alchemists. I'll tell you one thing. Many secrets are buried in the city of Krad. The same goes for this hotel. Beneath us, there is a passage connected to an underground base of the alchemists. It's where Ergo's vein was first discovered, long ago. Until the petrification disease the hotel worked hand in hand with the alchemists. But I didn't know they'd be so corrupt. Everything changed when Simon became their leader. Oh, I thought the survivors of the exhibition would be different. But they're just as corrupt. The passageways to the underground base are locked from their side. We can't get through unless they open. And the underground base is the only way to embark for the Isle of Alchemist. If we find the right alchemist, perhaps we can get that door opened. I heard that some of them occupy the collapsed tower of the train station. And the collapse makes me wonder whether they had something to do with the recent earthquake. Look into it, won't you?